Hi guys, it is time for another favorites video. This will be the March 2020 uh, favorites. I have a lot of makeup to get through. I have some hair care as well. Um, some of these products you've seen me use in other videos. Um, some maybe you haven't. Um, some I've been using for a long time and others are fairly new, but um, and with some products you just kind of know from the beginning um, if whether it's something that's going to work for you or not. So. Um, if that's something that you're interested in, then stick around um, and um, watch the video. <laughs> okay, the first thing is this primer by Touch and Soul. It's called Glassy and Soul Skin Balm. Uh, this retails for $32. And I'm sorry, I'm looking down, but I'm looking at my nose because I don't want to give you the wrong information. Um, this is what it looks like. I've used quite a bit. Um, it's very emollient. It gives the skin um, a beautiful, beautiful glow. Um, I just love, there's something about the scent that's like natural, but it's just one of those scents that you feel like, like you're putting on something really nice, like you're pampering yourself. So I kind of get that feeling every time I put this on and it's one of the reasons why it's become um, one of my favorite primers um, in such a short time because I've only had it for maybe a month and a half or so and um, I really, have made a dent in it already um, so yeah this is definitely I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a primer that will give you some hydration as well as provide you with that sort of like glow from within the next product is this uh, foundation bite change maker micellar foundation this retails for $39.50 um, it comes in 32 shades um, I'm in the shade M90, which is medium with neutral undertones, and this is a pretty good match for me. Um, this foundation is um, claims to be hydrating. It is medium to buildable coverage, um, and it has a micellar technology, which is meant to um, trap in or keep in the moisture in your skin. Um, so it's very favorable for mature skin like myself, Oh, or if you're um, combo to dry skin, um, I would highly recommend this. Another uh, foundation that I've been enjoying is this Wet n Wild, the uh, the new version, the dewy uh, version. Um, this is very similar to the Bite one, uh, but it's much more affordable. This retails for $6.49. It comes in 14 shades. It's medium buildable, um, but it, I find that the application, um, I've tried putting one on each side and you really couldn't tell the difference. So if you're looking for something that's hydrating, that's medium coverage, that has a natural finish, um, but you don't want to invest, you know, thirty something dollars, but you don't want to invest thirty something dollars, then I would recommend this one. Um, it's a it's a really good formula, and I actually I love the original one actually a little bit more than this one. Um, because even though the other one is supposed to be mattifying, I never found it to be that. Um, I, to me, it was more um, of a satin finish. But this is definitely, um, you know, you can see the, the, the dewiness in this one. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. The next product is this Jouer uh, High Essential Concealer. This is a medium to full coverage. Um, it has a satin finish satin matte with um, hyaluronic acid. So um, this reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape as far as the coverage, but it's not as drying. So if you're looking for something that's high coverage, um, for me, uh, during the day, I, I prefer something that's less coverage, but if I want to like wear um, a full face and or if I'm going out in the evening, then I reach for something like this. Um, and it's nice because it's not drying. It, it doesn't make my under eyes dry and cakey um, like other other concealers do. This retails for $22. Um, and I'm in the shade, which is actually a little dark for me, uh, Dulce de Leche. Um, and yeah, really, really good concealer. Next we have this Catrice HD Baking uh, Loose Setting Powder. This retails for $11.99. Um, this is the shade CO4 Warm Nude. Uh, this is vegan, cruelty free, it's waterproof, um, and it comes in five different colors. It's, um, I find that this powder, it's so finely milled that it's one of the few powders that I can actually use my, um, my beauty blender when it's moist and I can actually, you know, 
pat my whole face and it helps blur the skin in a way that I have not found. Even other high-end powders, um, you know, are able to do that. This this is um, an amazing product. I, I love Catrice. I love most of their products, but I didn't really have high hopes for the powder. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised. So I definitely, definitely would recommend this. The next product I talked about in my last video, it is uh, this powder foundation from JCAT Aquasurance. Um, it is medium to full coverage. Medium to full coverage. Uh, this color is uh, golden beige, which is a little bit dark for me. This retails for $13.99, and um, it's uh, one of the best powder foundations from the drugstore that I have tried. Um, and I've been using it for the last year and a half or so. And especially in the summertime, I, it, it's one of the things that I that I gravitate towards. Um, I can use it um, on its own and it does provide a lot of coverage. It comes with the, this little sponge. Um, oops, that's really dirty. It comes with this little sponge. If you want more coverage, apply it with the sponge. If you want less coverage, you can use a brush and then kind of just lightly feather it and, and it, provides you know lighter coverage that way if you want to use it also on top of foundation as a setting powder you can do that this is a very versatile product i completely love it um and i, I think across the board i've heard really good things from other from other youtubers as far as this product goes the next product is uh these um bite-sized eyeshadow eyeshadows from uh, elf uh, these retail for three dollars. Um, I think they released about six colors, but my favorite ones are pumpkin pie and carnival candy. Um, this one here, even though that that blue, I don't see myself grabbing all the time. The other three colors um, are just right up my alley. This one I used in one of the videos. This other one, the um, the pumpkin pie one, really beautiful neutral colors there, and. Um, yeah, I mean you can't beat it for for the for the price. These are really really good quality considering that they're so so affordable. Next, I have the more Kaja. Um, I had talked about these two Kaja trios. Um, they're called Bento Bouncy Eyeshadow Trios. Um, I had talked about the um, Toasted Caramel and the Orange Blossom. These are all shimmers. But then they released a few months ago um, a couple of other ones that are matte, two mattes and one shimmer. And the one I picked up that I really, really like is this one. This is the, uh, what's this one called? A glowing guava. So it has, it has two um, mattes, a lighter one, a darker one, and then in the middle it has this uh, the shimmer. And it's what I have on my eyes today. Um, I find this formula, just like the shimmers, um, which is superb. It's superior to other other products that I've used. And same goes for their uh, matte formula. I really, really enjoy it. When you break it down by eyeshadow, it does, you know, sound a little pricey because this retails for $21, $21. So it's like $7 each shadow, which is pretty high. Um, but I find that, I don't know, I feel like uh, if it's a formula that I enjoy and it's small enough that I can actually get through the product instead of having, you know, so many palettes that I never even get to use because it's so many, I feel like this I would get more use out of. Um, and uh, yeah, the formula is just amazing. I, I love Kaja products. Next I have these Perfusion Eye Sparklers. Um, I got these from their website. These come in a set, um, comes with a pencil, a matching pencil and one of the shimmers and each set, <clears throat> so each set like this um, is $7. These uh, are very, very similar, if not better, than, uh, than the Stila glitters that were so popular. Um, I still own two of those, but whenever I want <clears throat> glitter, this is what I grab. Um, this is what I grab. Um, I find that it stays on the eyelid a lot better. Um, it doesn't, you know, doesn't transfer. Um, it's a lot more um, reliable than the Stila in that sense, and it's so much more affordable. So I, 
Um, I haven't heard anyone talk about these. Um, I don't know why, but these are these are hot, super high quality. And I have the colors um, Glimmer, Dazzle, Gistin and Glitz, and um, in total it comes in uh, 12 different shades. But I only have these four here. The next thing I have is this setting spray from ColourPop. It's the Pretty Fresh uh, setting spray with hyaluronic acid. It's, I'm not sure if I talked about it before, but I love the spritzer on this. It's super fine and it has a beautiful scent um, and it really makes your skin super dewy, uh, depending on how much you put on. But after applying powder, you spray a couple, a couple of you know, spritz of this and it makes your, you know, the powder melt and, and have, really make everything come together. This retails for $12 and you can get it at Ulta or from the ColourPop website. Now for hair, um, this heat protectant I've been using for the last two years. Uh, it's the first time that I talk about it. It's uh, Beyond the Zone, Turn Up the Heat, um, flat iron protectant or blower, whatever, um, any, any heat um, that you're going to apply to your hair, this will uh, help protect it. It's um, in the form of a spray. But it gives um, it gives the hair. It's like a light type of. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a little bit oily. Not oily in the sense that it's going to make your hair look you know gross and dirty, but it'll give like that natural shine. And you know I'm big with the scents. For me, like if something doesn't smell good, and I, if I don't get that you know feeling of this is this is something nice that I'm putting on myself then I you know I won't use it and this has a beautiful beautiful scent um, I really cannot even begin to tell you how many bottles I've gone through this every time I go to Sally's which is where I get it from I pick up two bottles at a time uh, the product on this is um, what is this it's about eight nine dollars you can also get it um, on Amazon but I have not seen it at Ulta or um, anywhere else but you can definitely get it at Sally's or or online um, and the next hair product is this one um, it's not your mother's natural coconut milk and African marula tree oil <clears throat> sorry tree oil so what it is it's um, a to leave-in conditioner um, it won the Allure price in 2017 I've gone through I think this is my third bottle um, I use this when I have like right now my natural hair um, so once my hair is towel dry I'll apply this all over and it really makes your hair stay like manageable and shiny and soft um, especially on the ends um, marula oil and coconut oil are great for your hair so um, <clears throat> anytime I see that I, I know that it's um it's something that good that I'm going to be putting on my hair. So <clears throat> this retails for, sorry, <clears throat> $8.99. So it's pretty affordable. Um, you can get it at CVS or Ulta. My next favorite product is this brush from Sephora. is the Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56. I used it on my last video. Um, it's small enough that it fits perfectly for concealer it's perfect for the eyelids if you're putting on uh, a primer um, but it's also big enough that you could use it um, you know to contour if you're using cream products or even foundation um, the this is the quality um, of the Sephora brushes is really really good unfortunately there are some hit and misses there have been brushes that I've bought from them that turn out to be sort of like harsh um, but this one seems to be consistent all across because I've heard of other people who um, own it and love it and this one seems to be consistent as far as the quality um, so I would highly highly recommend it it is so soft that you can actually like really press it under your eye and it doesn't you know and that's a really delicate area and it doesn't it doesn't bother me at all um, it is that soft and also I've washed it a couple times and it washes really well it doesn't shed or anything like that and it stays pretty pretty well put together so I definitely recommend it. Okay guys, that completes this video. Um, I hope you got something out of today's video. I hope you are having a great week. I hope you're staying safe. And um, hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Take care, bye-bye.